right, this is Prometheus. I'm giving you the second part of my breakdown of my 43 blitz scheme, uh, which uh, could be classified as under the odd, uh, if you're looking at planes, uh, at the plays and breakdowns, and also the under. Um, that's something I discovered as I was trying to find the playbook that you can choose this from. Uh, you can get all the plays that I use in this scheme from the Seattle Seahawks uh, defensive scheme, the 43 odd slash under. Uh, so you can find all the different plays. Now we're going to be running through a couple more plays. So let me go ahead and just show you how I'm going to set up my audibles in this defense. All right, so my audibles are going to be the following. I'm going to go ahead and still keep uh, the cover two man is, is my uh, base audible there for the for uh, square. I'm going to remove the edge sting. I want that as a, a play that I'm going to call to. And I'm going to actually go ahead and select a play like the three buzz show is going to be one of the plays I'm going to select. Uh, I'm going to make sure that my, my pressure on the left side is on the left bumper. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, free safety fire three uh, press. And then on the, my right bumper is going to be the other blitz. And this is the blitz I'm going to show right away uh, is the SAM 3 Press. This is going to be the complimentary blitz that's going to give you some heat off the right hand side. So let's go ahead and, and show you how this play works. All right, so the play is going to be the SAM 3 Press. This is going to give you some uh, heat off the right hand side and you're only going to be going ahead and blitzing five at a time. Uh, you got a looping linebacker, inside linebacker that's going to generally get in through the B gap uh, or you could get, get a nice block shed off the other linebacker to get in. Um, the adjustments are going, to be the, there are going to be the following. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your free safety. This is the same safety you're going to go ahead and pull down to the, the, uh, the line of scrimmage off to the left side of the formation, of the offensive formation. And you're going to go ahead and as you're doing that you're going to bluff blitz. And you'll see what's going to happen is I bluff blitz, you're going to see a blitzing arrow but you're also going to see uh, the safety falling back into its zone. So it could be, it's going to be either a deep blue zone or it could be a yellow zone or some kind of a zone that you hot route it. Uh, but it's actually going to bluff. And that free safety is going to take a step towards the quarterback and then actually pull away. Hopefully engaging the outside line, or outside tackle, or the offensive tackle, uh, making him go ahead and try to compensate for that blitz. Uh, your, uh, your opponent that you're playing to is going to assume that that blitz is going to keep coming down. Uh, so they're actually going to be trying to protect from that side. Uh, the other adjustment that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and sup you're going to spread your linebackers and then you're going to pass commit. Uh, so let me go ahead and read that down. You're going to bluff blitz your free safety. You're going to spread your linebackers and then you're going to pass commit fairly simple adjustments. I'm going to run this against random plays so you can tell that this is, is very fast to set up and get moving and if you're actually in an online game or an actual live game uh, you'll have more time to set this up than you would in a practice uh, mode. So let's go ahead and run this. Bluff blitz, spread the linebackers, bring the safety down. And as you can see right there, I was able to go ahead and get the pressure off the edge. So let's take a look at this instant replay. All right, so we've got the linebacker spread. I've got my safety right on the line of scrimmage. And as you can see, he just takes a little jet outward. And this tackle right here has to compensate for him. So he's not able to get across and protect the backside of the, of the quarterback. So what's going to happen is over here I've got this linebacker and I've got this linebacker blitzing in and as this tackle comes across this guard. So on the right side the, the, uh, this tackle has to choose who he wants to block. Actually he, he, he tries to do a pancake block. Uh, my defenders are able to get around the edge and get a sack right there. Uh, conversely too, once again, you have a lot of coverage. You've got this guy falling back in, into, uh, into coverage. Uh, you've got your other linebacker right here falling into the center of the screen. And you've got uh, the safety that's actually coming down, coming down and then jetting out into coverage. Now where are you going to be weak at? Well, any kind of a pass right up the middle is going to be a huge weakness, but you've got that defender that actually is going to be falling in over that zone. 
Um, also, where are you gonna be weak at? You're gonna be weak at the flats. And that's fine. If you're if you're giving up plays in the flats, that's fine. So let's go ahead and run it a couple times, see how it runs against run defense, uh, how it defends against the run, and see if we can get this pressure off a couple more times. We're gonna bluff, spread the linebackers, bring the safety down, and look at that heat right around there, right into that, uh, in between that B gap. Bluff, spread, and bring the safety down. And no running room right there. Good team playing against with the 49ers. Spread the linebackers, bring the safety down. We're gonna pass commit. And that time he actually got pretty good blocking. Uh, so, bring the safety down. And I'm gonna go ahead and take Alden Smith. I've got time right here. Pass commit. And if I take away the seam right there, he's got to check down and he's only getting a few yards. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other plays that we have in this. All right, so another play that you actually can call, uh, this would be a play that actually I would call would be the edge sting. Uh, and this is going to get you that A gap pressure. And since you're running a lot of zone coverage with the, with the, uh, the press, uh, the, the free safety fire, and then the, um, uh, the sand fire plays, uh, the, they're not going to be looking for a gap pressure. They'll probably be sliding their lines either left or right. So the setup is going to be fairly simple. All it's going to be doing is you're going to be spreading your line and pass committing uh, and then bringing the safety down, uh, either trying to man up. Now, this play, edge thing is susceptible, susceptible to any kind of a bunch set or, or where you have wide receivers off on the right-hand side, and I'll show you how those get busted. So you got to be conscious if your opponent comes out and you're taking your safety and you're pulling them down um, out, of, out of an area uh, that's gonna, where he's not going to be able to get to his man that he's covering, you might want to try to avoid this type of look and maybe bring him down to the center of the screen. So let's just do edge sting. You guys all have seen how an edge sting works and, and some of the things you can do with it. So I'll just run it a couple times so you can see the A-gap pressure. Spread the linebackers, pass commit, bring the safety down. And look at the pressure right up the middle. Uh, with that. So uh, if your opponent is doing, if he's, if he's trying to be being very conscious of what's going up, he's maybe he's hitting the flats or something like that, he's trying to protect, you know you can always go ahead and, and use this as your next base play uh, and basically go ahead and, and hit him right up the middle uh, for an A gapper. Uh, try to put your fastest linebacker <clears throat> in that spot right there, or at least somebody who's a good pass rusher. Uh, you'll be able to get that, that, that A gap, and they'll be trying to defend against the right and the left side, so you've got the inside heat. So what other adjustments could you do? Uh, well, <clears throat> you can actually go ahead and uh, go with um, uh, you know, some, of, some different types of uh, pass sets. So basically what you could do is you, could, you can have either a cover, th uh, cover three sky press is one of your base defenses that you're going to come out in. Uh, you can um, use a cover four. That's a nice little set because you're actually going to have another. Uh, you're going to have another uh, a line. You have a defensive back that's going to cover. You've got those cover four uh, type of look. Um, others you could do a cover three cloud uh, is a good idea. Is a, is a good defense to run into. Uh, so you've got those uh, those flats taken care of. So these are other different types of defenses that you can use uh, to actually go ahead and mix things up with your opponent. I would actually, if I was selecting defenses, I would select something where I've got the, the flats covered. So cover three sky would actually be kind of smart. So you're giving them the same look. <clears throat> and you can see right there, he was kind of confused on the, on the coverage. You can quickly audible into man. which is going to force your opponent uh, to make reads a little bit differently if you go into man. And then you do the buzz type situation right here. As you can see, you get some good things. So, you know, that's the key to being successful at this game uh, is actually mixing up your defenses, not giving the same look to your opponents. Uh, just so that they have to keep reading the ball and progressions afterwards. If you use heat uh, in, in a lot of pass rush, it forces them to adjust against the heat because they, you know it's so detrimental to this game that you don't you don't lose yards uh, on your offensive sets. You want to constantly gain yards. So I hope this scheme is really good. Uh, I'll be using this uh, in my full games. I'll be rolling out uh, with the uh, 49ers, Giants, and probably the Jaguars. 
So if you're looking for what the scheme, how the scheme works out, how my opponents break it, I recommend that you go ahead and take a look uh, at the other uh, the, the plays, uh, how they how they work out in those full games. If this is the first time you've seen my channel or, you've, or you, we had, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have any other setups that you use for this 43 defense, go ahead and, and hit. Just go ahead and make a, a notation in the comments. And once again, I really appreciate all my subscribers and support. And until next time.